Hey, what's up, everybody? Tanvir here. Hope you guys are all doing well. And welcome back to the Adobe XD course. Today, we are going to learn how to combine shapes and align objects in Adobe XD. So, let's jump into Adobe XD. So here we go. First of all, we'll see the combined shape options from here. To check that out, let's create two or more shapes. Let's create a square here. I'm going to increase its border size so that you can see it. And also a circle here. also increases border size yeah now it's fine so now i'm going to duplicate these shapes here so now I'll select these two here. You can see these two. The first one is add and the second one is subtract. The third one is intersect and the fourth one is exclude overlap. So let's check the first one. Click add here. You can see here the two shapes or one shape or one part just create another union here it just merge into a the both two object into one shape you can see here the result or here if you double click on this union one here you can select the each particular shape or path here from object from here you can resize the path again that means you have still access to the shapes if you want to make any changes to them And if you want to revert back just click it here again and it will revert you back so I'll keep it and now let's see the second one and select these two shapes here this two the path two and rectangle to here and select the subtract option from the inspector panel here you can see it just subtracted one object from the another one or we, or we can say that it just subtracted one path to one shape here let me revert back by pressing ctrl z from my keyboard you can see the path to is above the rectangle too and when you click it here it just subtracted the path to from this rectangle to here like this you can see now let's group it and change the order let's keep the rectangle to over the path to now the rectangle is above the ellipse or path to now select this tool and click here now click here to the subtract option see the result is this here the square shape just cut out the ellipse portion here now to understand it properly just double click double click on this union here subtraction one just click on any shape you can select any of it and you will see the result here 
how it works and how it marks the shape so this is the basic uses of the subtraction now let's try out the third option now select these two shapes here this part 3 and rectangle here and now select this intersect the third one just click on it you can see it just merge two shapes to one like this if you go to the intersection you can see the path and the rectangle here it just cut out from the two shapes and just keep the middle two portion from both shapes if we want we can move or scale the shape here see see here and that's it and now let's see the fourth option here select these two option and click on the exclude overlap option we can see here it just cut out the middle portion from these two shapes here or we can call it the opposite method of the intersection method so this is the basic uses of the combined shape option so now we'll see the alignment tool so let's delete these shapes here I'll create three more shapes here we go select all of them increase the border size yeah now it's fine to see the alignment tool uses select three check all of the three shape here and you can see the tool here the first one is the align top the second one is align middle that's vertically and the third one is align bottom and the last one is distribute horizontally now just click on the first one is align top you can see it all of the shapes are aligned to top and if you select the align middle vertically you can see we are going to enlarge the shape a little bit now just select all of the three shapes again and click here align middle you can see all of the shapes now middle aligned and the next is distribute horizontally to understand that let's create a duplicate one more shape here select all of the shapes and you can select here the align bottom option here now you can see here are a few spaces here between the shapes it's not equal but if you select all of the shapes and click here distribute horizontally it will distribute exact space between all of the shapes like this you can see the result here and that's it and the same thing goes here with the vertical alignment tool here it's align left align center align right and distribute vertically here we go i'm going to delete the shapes here now select all of the shapes and click here it will align left here like this and if you select the aligned center it will align center and if you select the align right it will align to the right side and here you can see there are not equal space between the shapes and if you click on this distribute vertically option it will create equal space between the shapes and that's it this is the basic uses of the alignment tool here and this tool will help you to align your design objects shapes or images and text elements so that's all for today i hope you like the video if you like the video 
then press the like button and subscribe to my channel and also let me your thoughts in comments below i will get back to you soon with a new video again meanwhile you guys stay focused and keep learning